So the Kansas Jayhawks had accomplished what many thought impossible, a trip to Kansas City for a chance to avenge an earlier defeat at the hands of the Duke Blue Devils. The trip was short, just 40 miles or so down the interstate to Kemper Arena. Some of the media, however, were a bit confused. This wasn't the story of Dorothy and Toto, the Scarecrow and the Yellow Brick Road. This was the story of the Cinderella Jayhawks and the magic being created by Coach Larry Brown and his magic wand, the incomparable Danny Manning. Brown wanted his team to get off to a good start. And boy, did they ever. KU exploded to a 14 to nothing lead with a defense that forced many Duke mistakes. In the hands of Pritchard Danny the scored early and, low off the glass. and often. Is there, and it's a Larry worked his magic on the sidelines here, and Duke wasted and their first nine trips off. down the floor. And it's who can KU ran and ran, building an 18-point lead. And their fans went wild. And early nine Danny wasn't the only Jayhawk that was hot. Milt Newton came out on fire, canning 20 points and pulling down eight rebounds. It was to be one of his best performances. Chris Piper's post defense had Danny Ferry frustrated early. Duke continued their ice cold shooting, and nobody could handle Danny. The magic was working. Who said Kansas was a one man show? Someone forgot to tell Milt Newton that. He really wanted this one. Milt was having fun. Doesn't he look happy? The crowd was having fun. Danny was sure having fun. So were the cheerleaders. And maybe Larry. Milk to Danny. All night long. Larry working his magic on the sideline. Wait on the big guy. Danny to Milk. Just to keep Duke guessing. Let's see that one again. One more time. They were up KU went into the locker room leading by 11. They go to the locker and the room band played off. Can you hear the fat lady singing yet? Mike Krzyzewski came out of the locker room quite concerned. Milt hadn't cooled down a bit. The crowd was still in the game. Clint Normore had come in off the bench. And KU was still running. Manning was everywhere. But Duke didn't give up. Their fans wanted back in the game. And Danny picked up his third foul early. Hawks kept looking for Danny. He responded. The KU fans kept looking at the clock. Except when they were watching Milk. Chris was playing his heart out. And KU wanted one more game. Duke kept chipping away. Perry sure hadn't given up. There was still hope. They had their All-American, too. Guys were doing things they shouldn't be able to do. The coach still wanted defense. One more time. It was almost over. Everyone was tired. But they could smell it now. Time for a few smiles. There would be one more game. And this time it would be for all the marbles. The game had drained everyone. It would sink in later. Back in Lawrence at the Kansas Sports Bar and Grill and in bars and restaurants all over town, there was no question as to who would be national champs now.